Hey everybody, welcome to this video in the Nagios XI administration series. We're going to cover the super important topics of backup and recovery. A couple of things that you should know. I'm going to show you where to find the backup system and how to backup both locally and remotely. And then we're going to cover how to restore from a backup after a critical failure. We're going to hop right into the interface. All right, so the backup information we're going to find is here on the admin page. And we go down to the bottom of the left sidebar. We are going to first check out scheduled backups. When you first get here, this is what your screen is going to look like. You have the option of FTP, SSH, and local backup. And as you can see, none of those are enabled by default. In order to enable, we would click this button here in the SSH version and the local version. Uh, that's where we enable it. And then we can do our scheduling daily, weekly, Monday, monthly. We can pick the day and the time. We put in our server information. We can test the connection. We can test the upload. Uh, you can use SSL if you'd like. That's great with FTP because otherwise it would go in the clear. For the backup limit, the number here that's supplied is seven. That's the default. So it's either going to be seven days or seven weeks or seven months worth so seven files you can change that to any number that you like keeping in mind disk space and also you can enter zero to keep unlimited backups again keeping in mind disk space ssh pretty much the same deal local backups one of the nice things is that should you decide not to use the default location that comes here you can test the permissions on the directory that you choose and make sure that it's writable and that your backups are actually writing the way that you would expect. So let's say you've got your backup regime all set up. You're good to go. You've got your remote backups. And then there's the catastrophic failure happens that you were keeping backups for. And now it's time to restore. Well, the good news is there is a document. There's a doc that we have for backing up and restoring that can help in a high stress situation. Let's take a look at that. We're going to link to that here in the video and then also down below in the description of the video. So when we take a look at this, there's a couple of notes. The first note is we have to restore to the same version that we are, that our backup is from. So if we were backing up from this machine, you'll see down here that it is 5.4.2. And at the time I'm recording this, uh, XI is currently on 5.4.5. So we would need to take a new server, install XI on it, and we would install version 5.4.2 and then restore to that. The good news is that in that document, there is a link and it will take us to that so that we can go to this specific download, get that installed, and restore to it there regardless of what the current version is and that is the way to go with that so once we've done that we uh, you know we can also take a look at what our backups look like so when you take a look at this you're going to see that the file name itself is going to be atar.gz we can go back to this document that we were looking at and we'll see how to restore. Here's the beautiful thing. The shell script for restoring from the backup is already on board and it's ready to go. So you're going to run this shell script and it's going to include the path to the backup file, which is atar.gz. You don't need to untar the file. You don't need to uncompress the file. The script will take care of all of that couple other notes beyond that um, the uh, if you if you say you set up your new XI 5.4.2 in this case you make a couple of configurations and then you restore it's going to overwrite the work that you did between setting up and restoring the other important thing is that if you've changed especially the MySQL password then you would want to go in and you would want to edit this file this is the, uh, the shell script. You'd want to edit that and look near the top and put in your new MySQL root password so that XI can use that to do everything it needs to do to get set up. That's Backup and Restore. I hope you don't ever need it, but in case you do, you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. More to come.